Can someone help me do this integral? Sure, let's have a look. We are going to integrate x times e to the inverse tangent of x over 1 plus x squared, raised that to the 3 half power. This looks pretty scary. Surprisingly, it's doable though, which is very nice. And I'm not sure how you would do it. Maybe you want to break it down like this, and e to the inverse tangent of x. Or maybe you start with u equal 1 plus x squared, because that's the inside of the, the parentheses. But I didn't try that, because I think this is more the dangerous part, right? So I started with u equal that. u is equal to inverse tangent of x. And then do the usual business. Applying the original to both sides, we get x being equal to tangent u. Differentiate both sides, dx is secant squared u, du. Now, we are ready to take this integral to the u world. So, this right here, x is tangent u, e is still e, inverse tangent is our u, then over 1 plus x is tangent u, square that, and this is very nice because 1 plus tangent square is secant square. So in fact, this is kind of like doing tricks up as well, right? Very, very nice. Raise that to the 3 half power. And then lastly, dx is secant square u, du. Now, we just have to simplify this a little bit. Right here, this bottom part is secant squared. And then we have to raise that to the 3 half power. Let me just do this in red. Square and the half cancel, so the bottom is actually just secant to the third power u. And this is secant squared, so we can cancel out two of them. So now this right here will just have one. Now, I'm going to write tangent as sine over cosine. So the red part right here is sine u over cosine u. And then we have over secant u, which is the same as cosine u. And then we still have the e to the u in the u world. This is really, really nice because now cosine u, cosine u cancel. And uh, this is a standard integral. Let me write e to the u first times sine u du, just like that. So. You can do this by integration by parts, and it's a repeating case, and you can also check out my DM method video to see how to do that. And I'm just going to see my board to see how the formula is, which is right here. I'm just going to quote the result. I will tell you, this right here will be equal to 1 half e to the u, and then we have sine u minus cosine u. Now we just have to plug that in. So here we'll just have one half e to the u, which is inverse tangent. And then right here we have sine of u, u is inverse tangent. And then minus cosine of inverse tangent. So technically we are done. However, though, this kind of expressions usually should be simplified because this is very intimidating. In fact, you can write it in terms of a square root. Even though sometimes once you put that in the square root form, it's still going to be pretty intimidating, but we we'll still do it anyways. So how do we do it? Have a look. Tangent u is equal to x, which is the same as x over 1. So right here, we can draw a right triangle like this. I'm going to put the u, which is the angle right here, x is the opposite, 1 is the adjacent, and the hypotenuse, you open the square root, and you, you do 1 squared plus the other side squared. Now looking at this, you can do sine of u, which is inverse tangent, likewise you can also do cosine. So I'm just going to write this down at the end, we have 1 half e to the inverse tangent of x times sine of inverse tangent of x 
sin is r plus over hypotenuse, so it's x over square root of 1 plus x squared, minus cosine is 1 over that, so it's 1 over square root of 1 plus x squared. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Of course, if you would like, you can also put them together. And uh, I think I might just do it like this. 2 on the bottom, along with the denominator, which is square root of 1 plus x squared. And then x minus 1. And then e to the inverse tangent of x. All that. And I usually just put down the plus C at the very end. And that should do it.